All right, so my analysis of uh, Craig versus Hitchens is still ongoing, but there is a correction I must make and a few responses that I have to respond to. Uh, the correction was that somebody uh, pointed out that I missed where he talked about the fine-tuning and responded to it, and they're quite correct. I do apologize, so I'll address that now. This is as far as I can tell, and again, I'll await uh, further clarification from the individual that uh, sought to correct me on this, is his argument against fine-tuning. This is Hitchison's argument against fine-tuning. It's a question. Questions are not debates. They are questions, certainly. If we were in an inquiry dialogue, where the point of the dialogue was to get information from the other party, a question would be absolutely valid in that type of situation. We are in a persuasive dialogue, the goal of which is to persuade the other party, or in this case, the audience, that we are correct. Questions do not form debates. Therefore, if this is his argument against, it's not an argument at all. It's merely a question, a question to which Hitchens needed to provide the answer on his side of the equation, mainly that this is all just randomness and it's incompetence and it's cruel and uh, it's a mystery, certainly, but it doesn't entail design. He doesn't give that argumentation. Asking a question is not an argument. The other comment is essentially stating that Craig has no argument either. He's just stating that because the universe has a cause, therefore God, and he waits for the audience to fill in the gaps. That's not entirely true. The first part of the premise, which nobody needs to argue that Craig gives for the cosmological, is that as far as we have observed, Things require a cause, and they, if they have a beginning, and the universe had a beginning, therefore the universe had a cause. The rest of the argumentation that he flushes out from there prevents the audience from filling in the gaps themselves. If that was the entirety of his argument, I would agree with this comment, but it's not. There's a couple of things to say about this comment. Uh, the whole point of analysis is to reveal whether or not either side gives us any reason to accept their premises hidden or not. If they give us an argument for their premises, then they have succeeded on a technical level. If they have not given a reason to accept their premises hidden or not, they have failed on a technical level. The other part about this statement is to note the coherent part. He says it's incoherent. Okay, so what? Whether it's incoherent or coherent does not necessarily invalidate or validate the argumentation given. It might be that the argument is so complex that it's completely incoherent to everybody except for one person in the room. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the argumentation is therefore invalid because of the incoherency that is present during that argumentation and vice versa if it, it's the most coherent thing that you've ever heard doesn't necessarily mean that it's right either now there's another comment here and it's a good question it's a series of questions I don't know I don't have the answers to these questions and I want to make it really clear that this is an analysis of a debate it's not Craig is right and Hitch is wrong or Hitchens is right and Craig is wrong it's simply objectifying both people. Do they make their points? Do they defend their points? Or do they not defend their points, but make a point anyways? Do they make a point that their opponent uh, responds to and succeeds as at uh, showing to be invalid, etc.? If so, they get a technical point. If not, they lose a technical point. That's it. It's not about who's right or wrong in the end. It's simply about objectifying it in the style of debate. The problem is, with Hitchens, during the debate, he asks a question. Now, I could be wrong. It might be that his, de his uh, debate is that because there are these random things in the universe, therefore, no design. But... 
you can't make that a question. If that was his debate point, Hitchens would have gotten the technical point here. I would have gone back and undid that Hitchens never responded to Craig. Hitchens doesn't respond because this is a question. He's saying, well, yeah, sure, it's improbable, but what if it's not improbable and it's just chaos? That's not a debate because when you say, well, what if this or what if that, nobody cares anymore. Okay, you've got to say, this is true because X, Y, and Z. In other words, if Hitchens had said, there is no design because of this chaos and that chaos and that chaos, he would have gotten the point. He doesn't. He just says, well, what if? I don't care. What if X, Y, and Z? What if A, B, and C as well? What if this, that, and the other thing? It doesn't really matter what if. It only matters what your argument actually is. Tell me an argument and then say it's that way because of whatever your argumentation is. Hitchens doesn't give one. He ends in questions and comments and feelings and speculations. Now, there are times when Craig does that, and when he does, he loses a technical point. When Hitchens does it, he's going to lose a technical point as well. That's how it goes. That's all I'm here to do is analyze it. Now, um, if you want to try to show that Hitchens is making a point and I'm missing the point that he's making, please feel free to do that. Show me where I've gone wrong. I'll look at the line of text. I'll check it out. I'll redo the video uh, or I'll make a new video explaining how I went wrong and why I went wrong or whatever. But as far as the technical approach of how debate functions, Hitchens has lost his technical point here because he doesn't make any point. He just raises a question. That's okay in inquiry dialogue, but not in persuasionary dialogue. One uh, person pointed out, well, you're missing Hitchison's whole point. His whole point is God is man-made, not the other way around. Fine. Where does Hitchens say that? Uh, point out where Hitchens says that, and if Hitchens argues that positively, then he gets a technical point. If he never says that and you're just extrapolating that that's what Hitchens' point is, then you've made Hitchens' point for him. And that's never good in a debate. You don't want your opponent or your audience to have to make your point for you. You need to make your point yourself. If that was Hitchens' argument, great! Then give that as an argument and show reasons why he believes that's true. Give examples, give reasons, give facts, give information. Don't just ask a question. Now, someone has said, uh, similarly, with again with Craig, that his cosmological argument fails, uh, but that might be true. It might be false. It doesn't matter because his opponent doesn't respond to it. Not in a technical sense. Hitchens responds to the cosmological argument, but he does so with a giant question mark. He suggests that we're arguing out of ignorance, but never makes an argument that we're arguing from ignorance. You can't just make a suggestion. You must give an argumentation for why you believe we are arguing from ignorance, in which case he's arguing from ignorance, and he should declare himself agnostic, or they should have gone back and decided on what definition they're using and where and how that's going to work or whatever. But they didn't do that. They haven't done that yet. Now, I do hope that Hitchens uh, recovers from his illness and um, that he's able to debate Craig uh, from a better venue this time. That is to say, make his points clear, concise, and give reasons why we should think that they're true. Him or somebody else needs to do that. So far, nobody has. And that might be Craig's point, is nobody has given him an actual argument. A question is not an argument, not in persuasionary dialogue. A question is interesting, but it's an inquiry dialogue. Um, if you want to blow Craig out of the water, then respond to his premises, show that they're invalid, give arguments against them or give arguments against his conclusions, or do both. Don't just say, well, what if it's not this way? Then you're 
wanting the audience to presume that you're right without giving any argument. And if that's what you're against as far as what Craig and others like him might be doing, then don't do the same thing they're doing. Be the better debater. Be the better arguer. That's what I'm trying to teach on this channel is how to argue. Not so that you can argue this subject necessarily, but any subject at all. Hopefully I'm doing that. If not, I'm more than willing to go back, look over what I've done, and analyze it further, correct it further, because my purpose here is to educate. Thank you. Take care. See you next time.